opinions and stories around the game we love told by your favorite storytellers. Stay up to date with all things cricket. Subscribe to Crick Boss's YouTube channel and press that bell icon now. Joy, are you as appalled and amazed and ecstatic? As I am. I'm, I'm currently writing, putting together a book on Dhoni. So I just looked into myself and said, okay, one more chapter added to the book because, you know, <laughs> you know, in his 15th year in the IPL, he'll still get you one more chapter to the book because, you know, he just does it every time. That, that one of the most magnificent romances that we've had in IPL cricket is Dhoni and the 20th over. The record he has in the 20th over more than 300 runs he scored in that 20th over chasing. He's just absolutely amazing. It seems 20th over is Dhoni time. That's where he mm. switches on. That's where he gives you his most. And, you know, there was this, even it started with a wicket, but the moment the strike changed, there was this air of inevitability that, okay, this is Dhoni, it's a 20th over, it's going to happen. You know, Michael Joyce says something so interesting. You come to the last over and he switches on. I feel like when I look at him, it comes to the last few balls and he switches off, if you know what I mean. Yeah, he's, uh, oh, he's, he's the coolest uh, operator going. Um, generally, when you're chasing down targets, you try and do the damage before the last over. MS doni has got a different mechanism going because he always leaves more for the last over to make it look even better when he gets his team over the line. Um, he is the greatest in terms of hitting balls in the last over to get whoever he's playing for over the line, he just seems to almost bring on the pressure and from nowhere he just starts to uh, hit the boundaries. Uh, that, that, that was a, an innings of, 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 I'll be honest, sitting watching, I thought, no, he ain't got it again. He, he, he's, he's past it. He, he can't do it once more. And, and, and don't tell me most people weren't thinking exactly the same. But then once again, he's proven uh, many people, um, I wouldn't say wrong, but he, he, he's, I guess, questioned any doubters that he's still not got that X factor. Uh, MS has still got the X factor. Yeah, he does. It's exactly why I'm saying switch off is because he almost goes into default mode. His default mode in the last over is, it almost feels like he doesn't care. And that's why he's going to win. Because it almost seems on the outside like it doesn't really matter to him. And the other team is just so tight with tension. and. This is the attitude and the temperament. And I know it just sounds so counterintuitive, Joy. But the, for those who can just treat it like any other ball and not the last ball with four to win, those are the guys who are going to end up on the winning side. Exactly. There's this thing said by Rajiv Kipling, na? that if you can take triumph and disaster and treat those two imposters just the same, Tony just looks as if he doesn't care. <laughs> and, you know, I'm just going to read this stat out for you because it's necessary. You know, we look at it. He's got 16 and four balls in this last over. But in yeah. 28 innings before this, 250 runs in the last over by chasing at a strike rate of 287.35. That means he's not just done it today. He does this consistently. I mean, there are people who have scored 250 runs in their entire IPL career. Dhoni has scored <laughs> 250 runs in his IPL career in the 20th over batting second. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> do you think? Do you think, Michael? Do you think he has he has a long lease on the on the last over? He's got this 15, 20 year lease. That's where he lives, right? He lives in the last over. Yeah, I, see, I, I, see I, I, address I, on his passport. Twentieth over. Yeah, <laughs> I think it might be longer than fifteen to twenty years. I think he's just going to keep going. I don't think there's a <laughs> I don't think there's a time frame on the lease. I think he just owns it. Yeah. I don't think he's leased it. I, I, I think he's bought it. <laughs> he, 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 he may have to lease it to someone else soon, but he owns it. There's no question about that. That's his property. No, yeah. and it's, it'll be very valuable because uh, whoever can try and match what MS Dhoni has done for many, many years in that last over, oh, good luck. You're going to have to pay a lot of money for that.